Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be a really informative one because I'll be sharing my study strategy for last moment preparation of my science exam. I it's actually applicable for all the exams, but I'll be focusing on the science subject at the most. And if you are a tenth grader and you have your pre boards coming, or obviously we have a term two exams, so this video is gonna be really helpful for you. So the tips are very realistic, like it's not something very high-fi kind of that you need to study for 24 hours or something like that. These are just really simple tips and techniques which I use for last moment revision, and this actually makes things you know go into my head very well. So that's why I thought to share all these tips with you guys as well. So yeah, now talking about the first thing is that you should know your syllabus. That's the most basic thing, and. It is something you should do. I mean, there might be people who might be saying that it's obvious to know your syllabus, but there are people who do not even know the syllabus, and they might be confused. Like, suppose there is one chapter, and they'll be like, "Oh, I studied the other chapter instead." So that happens. So make sure to check your syllabus at least a few days prior. I mean, you should be knowing it because you're in class tenth, and you should at least study for the whole year. But just in case you are one of those people who did not study the whole year and do not know the syllabus, go check out your syllabus first. So just for a glimpse, I'll tell you guys we have seven chapters in total for science, which is for chemistry we have two, for bio we have three, and for physics also we have two. So for my case, physics actually um, the moment when the CBC board decided to. Cut off syllabus, or you know, decided the term and term two pattern. Before that itself, we had completed both the electricity and the magnetism chapter. So I was done with that chapter before term two as well. So and between term one, I obviously could not revise this chapter or read it. So everything obviously went out of my mind. But still, I had this glimpse of what the chapter is all about. And actually, to be honest, electricity is also an important one. But the most important topic which you must Focus on is chemistry, and chemistry also carbon and its compounds is the topmost priority which you must have. And maximum questions do come from that chapter. And like carbon and its compounds, that chapter would not work according to your common sense. There are other chapters which might work according to your common sense, which is biology. But in physics, no, in chemistry, it does not work according to your common sense, and you need to know all the terms and the definitions according to the CBSE's textbook. So that's why I prefer to study chemistry, which is totally oriented to my NCERT book. And you guys, focusing only on your NCERT works the best because there are many people who say that go to reference books and stuff. But to be honest, don't go for any reference books because what I have seen in term one, everything is from the NCERT books. Although the questions might be a little twisted, but the basic, you know, glimpse of the question and the answers they are somewhere or the other in the CBSE's NCERT textbook itself. So this is my most most important tip for all the ninth graders who will be coming to tenth next year. Do not take any reference books. You can take it for math because you know you need some questions to solve instead of reference books. Take some sample papers. Take some you know books which have question marks. Take those, but don't take reference books and stuff because I felt they are not of that much use. So yeah, that was my little tip which I have felt being in tenth. And then first, I as I told you, chemistry should be your first priority, and in that also study carbon and its compounds. It hardly takes around like one or two hours to complete the whole chapter, even if you haven't done anything. So that was my tip. And then next, you should not. Really indulged into the periodic. Yeah, periodic table is also very important, but actually it is more of the definition oriented chapter wherein you need to just you know remember it as a short note about the Dobereiner's triads and then Newland's law of octaves and then what was Mendeleev's table and all those stuff. You just need to learn it as a short note and don't go into you know. A very much detail. I mean, if you're interested in science a lot, you can surely go. But this is my last minute strategy for board exams, so that's what I'm telling you. That learn them as short notes because making short notes makes so good. Like just imagine that you have a question that what is Robin and Estrella's and mention its advantages or disadvantages. So you just need to prepare your stuff according to that. And I'm sure like all the questions come either twisted or turned around that corner only. So that's how you should study that chapter. And then carbon and its compounds, you have no other option than studying it in detail. You will have to study 
each and every point in detail. You should know the meaning of each and every word used in that chapter. So that's why it takes a little bit of time. So I prefer starting with that chapter first rather than any other chapter. And after that, you can surely complete your periodic table. And then you should move on with electricity. So in electricity also, you need all those um, numericals. You should remember all the formulas. And if you are someone, you know, who is not good in physics, so I have this tip that if you have to learn all the formulas, it's really hard to learn the formulas for some people. So first, before learning the formula, try and memorize the short forms of the term used. Like just an example for current, it's I, and then I might, you know, be wrong because things get messed up in my mind as well. But yeah, I'm just giving you guys an example for resistance. It's R, and then we have rho and all those stuff. So. that you should know first before knowing the formula and then you can you know try making out some stories and stuff that this happens this with and then for like v is equal to ip so i turn it as vip and then like all those stuff so you can just make your own story and stuff to remember things better so after chemistry touch on to physics and in physics to the electricity and then to the magnetism chapter because magnetism does not contain a lot of stuff because the major i guess the generator part is deleted or the motor no i guess the generator part is deleted and that was one of the most you know mind boggling task to do and that is self deleted so i am so happy for that and then next you should start on with biology so bio to be honest it's not on my interest point at any moment i somehow do not understand bio pretty well so my strategy is nothing else rather than reading the ncert textbook and for and this is for all the chapters which are present there and like your last priority should be that environment chapter because it is more it is more of geography rather than bio and like everything is very easy like if you just look at one one shot video or something or you just read the chapter once you will be able to understand everything and my basic tip for all the science subjects so you can say any subject in all is that learn the chapter as short notes make questions and then write the answers of them and yeah just frame as many questions as you can by yourself and answer them by yourself so you know that covers the whole entire chapter and then solve the worksheet sent by your teachers because pre boards in case you are having your pre boards then solving worksheet sent by teacher is so important because there are many questions which the teacher actually you know just copy paste from your worksheet she had sent into the paper the question paper and then solve the sample question paper of cbsc very well because the difficulty level and the type of questions they are literally copy pasted in the pre boards maybe pre boards maybe actual board exams but cbsc sample paper helps me a lot as i had even mentioned that in my previous vlog where i had my english exam and one of the comprehension it was actually from the cbsc sample paper itself so that's why it went very good for me so yeah that was one of the biggest advantage of me solving the sample paper and try to solve the sample paper as many times as you can it's not like you have solved it once so just leave it no solve it as many times as you can because it is very very helpful for that and yeah those were my basic kind of tips which i had personally used for my last moment revision and yeah my i just glimpsed it all that first start with chemistry because chemistry needs in depth concentration and then go to physics and then at last go to biology because you might be able to frame bio answers better than all those two answers because in uh, chemistry and physics you actually need to learn all those terms the definitions definitions and stuff but in bio the definitions also they are pretty much basic and you don't need to you know put a lot of brain in that so yeah and in bio also try on focusing more on that chapter heredity and evolution because it has all those pea plant and stuff so you need to focus on that because that is something we haven't yet done before so yeah that was my tip for science exam and i guess i'll send i'll not send i mean i guess i'll make a video of separate tips and techniques also if you guys want that and yeah i guess i'll end this video right here and i hope you guys found this informative and this might have helped you all some or the other way and if it did then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe turn on those post notifications and comment down below what your favorite part in my video was till then stay safe and keep watching and all the best for everyone who has the final exams boards or pre boards going on